Good evening and thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Andy Sirota. Keith and Daniela are on assignment. Only on two tonight, Houston police have identified a 41 year old man as the thief responsible for stealing money from one woman's checking account. They say the man has been tied to tens of thousands of dollars spent on home renovations, traffic tickets and more. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is live near the Galleria tonight with the story you'll see only on two. Bryce. Andy, this widow tells me she had stopped paying attention to her account activity after the loss of her husband until one day she checked her Wells Fargo account and that's when she found nearly $100,000 of those fraudulent charges tonight. Nearly a year later, a man has been charged. And when I wake up, first of all, I thank God for allowing me to open my eyes again. And then I call Wells Fargo Bank. Those calls have been happening in the wee hours of the morning for this 71 year old woman who asked us to conceal her identity after learning someone drained her account. I was overwhelmed and couldn't believe it. And you knew you hadn't spent that money. Oh my goodness, I, I didn't even hardly touch that account. She called Houston police after discovering $95,738 in fraudulent charges, according to court records. Grief stricken after the loss of her husband, she estimates she hadn't checked the balance of that Wells Fargo checking account for a couple years. He ruined my feeling of security. Prosecutors just filed a felony theft charge against 41 year old Cleophas James, seen here in a 2017 booking photo. He's accused of using her debit card number to make fraudulent purchases. James spent more than $28,000 on renovations to this Trinity Gardens home he rented from a family member. According to court records, $1,350 went to catering a party at the house and nearly $1,400 paid to the city of Houston for three of his traffic tickets. Everybody should at least have the eyes on their accounts once a month. Tim Howard is a cybersecurity expert. He recommends setting up text alerts for every purchase made using a card and getting a replacement card once a year. You limit how much money you leave in a checking account, especially if you have a debit card on that checking account. You only want to have what you need to have. You just don't know who's out there. She's never met James, she says, and doesn't know how he got her debit card number. It was heart wrenching to just keep taking and taking. He deserves everything he gets. And that woman tells me she now checks her account balances at least every other day. That's her advice to anyone who sees this story. As for James, he's now charged with felony theft from an elderly person. He is wanted on that charge tonight. If you have any idea where he might be, you can report those tips to HPD or Crime Stoppers. We're live near the Galleria. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. As she said, it is heart-wrenching to say the least. Bryce, thank you.